Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, December 1st, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is the potential of this moment is golden. And I have kind of a theme of gold going through the energy of um, the astro today and the energy of the cards that I have today. So two things that I want to mention. Number one is Chiron is direct. Chiron has been retrograde for the last five months. So we've been diving in, getting into this past stuff, shedding these layers so that we can, you know, step up in a new way, uh, you know, letting go of these lessons that we've repeated over and over, bringing awareness to the lessons that we've repeated over and over. So now it's time to step forward, from this place of having healed the past and like be like, that's done. We've let that go. <laughs> I learned what I needed to learn from it and now moving forward. We also have Mercury preparing to go into its shadow period before retrograde. So Mercury is going retrograde December 15th, I believe. I forgot to look up the exact date that it's happening. And it's retrograding back to the point that it reaches today. Today, Mercury is at 28 degrees in Sagittarius. So it's retrograding back into Sagittarius, 28 degrees. That degree of owning the worth. And to me, 28 degrees Sagittarius, finding the value, the worth of that, is the value, the worth of your beliefs. And to me, this ties into that alchemy thing and it ties into the energy of luck. I keep hearing the word luck. I pulled the luck card and I keep hearing one of the mantras. I think it's from movies. Hey, I'm lucky. Good things happen for me. It may be Abraham, but that kept being one of the things that kept coming through as I'm sitting with the horoscopes. I'm lucky. Good things happen for me. So to me, this is going to be the theme of this Mercury retrograde as it moves into Capricorn and Capricorn brings those like physical manifestations holding that belief that I'm lucky. I'm this divine child. I'm this divine being and good things happen for me. Things are always working out for me. There's a strong focus on this mental energy and owning your worth and the potential of the golden moment. So remember this as we move into the shadow and start working with this energy now so that when it retrogrades, you're carrying the light of I'm lucky things are working out for me. I'm lucky good things are always happening for me. And see how this retrograde is maybe a different retrograde than it usually is. <laughs> um, that being said, moon is shifting into Capricorn today. So that brings a uh, a practical, I almost said a Capricorn vibration, it does bring a Capricorn vibration, a practical vibration to the energy field. It brings the, I'm going to show up, I'm going to do the things, I am responsible, I am re responsible for how I show up, um, I choose my responses to life, and I again encourage you to have this kind of response that owns that high vibrational energy. Helping us with this high vibrational energy, the moon is connecting to Neptune, um, and the moon is going to, not the moon, Mars and Jupiter are connecting. So Mars in Aquarius, Mars in Aquarius wants to like bring forth, take action into bringing forth utopia, into bringing a united, um, united universe, a united world together into oneness. It's holding the brilliance of a big future, a big, nice um, vision <laughs> of self-love, of union, of coming together, of working together. And this connection to Jupiter is reminding us, hey, that part of this thing is the self-love process, you know, owning that energy within ourselves so that we can get into this new vision, this higher vision for all of us together. That being said, I have the playfulness card in reverse. So that Capricorn energy may bring in I don't want to call it a buzzkill, but a buzzkill <laughs> to, you know, the Sagittarius energy, the camaraderie between Mars and Jupiter. You know, you may feel a bit of that heaviness. So I have to show up. I have to do things this way. You know, that's the old Capricorn vibration. The new Capricorn vibration, the one that Pluto is helping shift, is the one into like, how am I showing up for myself? And to me, part of this vision is bringing back the playfulness, bringing back the love into this world. So can you do that? And can you do that through your attention to the law of attraction, to the attention to, I'm lucky, things are always working out for me. I think that if we're really lucky, I think that we can own some of this nice, playful energy you know in our daily lives that to me is like success when I can laugh and have fun and be playful that's so needed so 
that's it for the astro side of things for now. Um, oh, it's the last, I want to mention, it's the last full day of Mercury in Sagittarius. It's going to shift tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon actually. And in that focus too, like you get to decide what your focus is. And Sagittarius, Mercury and Sagittarius can get so caught up in the truth. But what if instead you get caught up in the how do I alchemize this? How do I make this feel good? How do I bring in this playful? How do I hold this new vision energy? Um, how do I bring the element of luck? I've got this lucky card. It says you've got the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold at this time. I keep pulling this for the Sagittarius time, but I think it's true. We can tune into this energy. And what helps us is the air card. The air card said logical thinking and reasoning are required um, you may also need more information. Call on the element of air to help you find healthy resolutions. Meditate with the symbol to call on more of the air elements in your life to enhance your thought and inspire new ideas. But this to me is like, can you take that element of focus, that element of thinking, and focus it on being lucky, on turning things into gold? Because treasure awaits using wisdom of the oracle, and says the law of attraction is bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and sharing of good fortune. Here this treasure comes with hearts and a turtle. And some stars thrown in there for good measure too. So here it comes because you are choosing to focus on it. You are choosing to alchemize whatever you have. And how can I find the gold? Where is the golden lining? We're not even going for a silver lining. We're going for a golden lining. Lining or a golden lion. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going for a golden lion apparently. <laughs> but work with this energy. The strong air energy is honing that focus. Mercury finishing up is helping you hone that focus. You get to decide. That's the Capricorn energy. What are you choosing at this time? What are you deciding at this time? It's up to you. So that being said, I have my reading sale going. If you would like to work with me monthly, I love doing this. I love the people who I get to know who show up month to month and we can dive in and dig in. It's beautiful. Um, it's $180 for six months or $300 for all 12 months of this next year. Um, if you do the $300 one, you get two months free. So that is it. You can email me for details about that, mimiclark at gmail.com. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.